types of street gangs. The ethnic gangs, which define themselves, define themselves both by their nationality or race. Turf gangs, which define themselves by the territories that they control. And prison gangs, which don't necessarily relinquish their gang membership, but they continue to exist within prison walls and just gain power by being inside prison. So when they get out of prison, they might become a vice lord or leader of a gang. Most gang members start at a very young age. The money and respect is alluring to them, so they begin to hang on other gang members. This can happen around the age of 10 or 11. Gangs usually recruit young children and use them to carry weapons or drugs to commit other crimes because they tend to attract less attention from police. Initiation into a gang is quite shocking. They don't usually involve elaborate ceremonies, but their initiate will have to endure a certain rite. The most common rite involves getting jumped by all the gang members in the gang they want to join. More shockingly enough, the gangs that accept female gang members sometimes rape them as their initiation. In other situations, a new member might be given a mission to steal a car or engage in a fight with a rival gang. Some gangs don't even consider you a member unless you have shot or killed someone. One of the lesser initiations will be getting a tattoo of the gang symbol. The life of a gang member is not really exciting. Gang members sleep late, sit around the neighborhood, drink and do drugs, and possibly go to a meeting place in the evening, such as a club, bar, or pool hall. They may work on the street corner selling drugs or committing, committing petty crimes, such as vandalism or theft. Respect is the fuel that drives these gang members to commit violent crimes. They will assault, shoot, and assassinate people for pride, money, to or revenge. There's no simple way to stop these gangs because the underlying conditions that lead to gangs are more complex. The breakdown of traditional family values and community structure is two major reasons why our children of this generation have lost themselves to street gangs. When a child who has no values, no morals, and no emo emotional support from their parents or others, they tend to rebel and become vulnerable, turning to others for help and love these other people just happen to be gang members and criminals with no conscience. There are other factors that cause young people to join gangs, and one of the factors is poverty. By committing thefts and dealing drugs, gang members can make large amounts of easy money. People who are faced with lack of money turn to crime if they can't earn enough by working a regular job or can't work because maybe they have a felony on their record. Peer pressure is another very major reason as well because members tend to be young and some older members might try to recruit them because they are easily manipulated. The constant need to fit in is what worries this generation's teenager. And the subliminal messaging in our media and music of sex, violence, and drugs do not help either. According to a report from Metro Police, over 77% of gang members are from single parent households. Another statistic states that over 70% of gang members are low achieving students. Thank you. 
to my speech and remember that violence is everywhere in these days of turmoil. You have to be wise and use caution. 